Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you in another video. All right. So, since I got cheated over at the uh 7-Eleven not too far from uh where I was at, my banking situation. Uh <laughs> they tried to skip me out of $80. I'm going to go to a different spot. And I'm right now closer to the NoHo Hotel. So I figured I'd get what I need before going to the other side of Lancashire. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I called them up, uh, the Studio Lodge Hotel, and they didn't answer the phone. Now, nobody's at the lobby. So my thinking is, let me just go over here and get what I need now, rather than get on that side of town and skip past the 7-Eleven to like a Costco, which is like a further walk than this is right here. Plus checkout is until 11 o'clock over here. And I would rather communicate with them about whether or not they have a uh, room before leaving this hotel. You know what I mean? Because at least my stuff is secure right now. I haven't caught an Uber anywhere. If, if worse comes to worse, I can get another room here without going all the way over there and coming all the way back. So it's just like, after doing this a million times, and they always tell you, please call before you do. You know the rules to call and all that type of stupid shit. Excuse my language. I figured I'd just say, yo, let me just do that let me take care of everything on this side of town and sometimes to be honest with you rooms open up later people don't check out until 12 so it's like after going through this with them for almost six months you just get to a point where you understand there ain't no real reason to hurry up and get over there at 8 30 in the morning because usually you get there at 8 30 in the morning and you have less options than what opens up throughout the course of the day in certain cases i'm, I'm gone over there at this hour and not getting into a room until like 12 not getting to a room till one so it's like look let me just get everything i need to get over here it's wednesday it's not like it's a big rush the beginning of the year they're gonna have a they should be able to have some room open i don't care if it's air conditioned or non-air conditioned because my uncle took care of that so it's like let me just get what i need right now have that in hand so i ain't got to leave my bags there you know what i mean Un insecure walking much further distance and, and, and all of that, because Costco ain't that close. And the 7-Eleven's only a couple blocks down. I can get back to my bags in 15 minutes flat. With the Costco, that's almost an hour walk to and from. So it's like, I'd rather take care of that before I check out of here. Get the cash that I need, or whatever is necessary. <clears throat> and then, I worry about whether or not they have the room or not. You know, so just seem, this just seemed like a better bet. It's only 9 15 i'm pretty sure i'll get back to no hole by 10 if i'm if i'm heading the right direction don't get lost uh this is only like 15 minute walk so you know i should be able to get everything i need quickly have it in hand get over there have it ready to go and not have to leave my bags for even a second so that's my thinking this seems like a better routine to get used to if rather than uh doing that crap i was doing or going back to the same place where I got cheated. It just seemed like a stupid decision to to go back to that 7-Eleven just out of convenience when we know damn well they didn't already try to cheat you out $80 once. I just, I can't see myself making that type of decision. I really can't. Not with my uncle's money, not with my bank account. Not when I had so much trouble getting a new ATM card. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so much trouble. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, let's try something different. There's another way. They got different places. And this place here is like the police credit union. You know what I mean? So I think it's less likely you get cheated, get scammed out of the police credit union ATM than maybe some rinky-dink 7-Eleven. So this just seemed like a better deal, man. So, yeah, man. I'm enjoying a morning walk. Um, I tell you, man, I, I woke up this morning feeling lazy as it pertains to doing my everyday squat routine. I just... I was looking at the time. I didn't sleep as much last night because the Laker game ended at 11, did my video, and then uh, woke. had my alarm set for like 6.50. So it was like I wasn't going to get the type of sleep I'm used to. And I woke up at 3 a.m. like my body always does, you know, that kind of thing, just getting used to waking up and going to the restroom, that kind of thing. So I didn't get back to sleep till like 5 a.m. So I didn't get a lot of sleep when I woke up. I set my alarm for, and gave myself an extension to 7.10, and I woke up at that time feeling like I don't feel like doing no squats. 
at all. <laughs> and I heard something in my head. I did my little meditation, a quick meditation. And I, and I got up. I was like, all right, how am I going to how am I going to maneuver uh, getting out of this hotel? The suitcase squats and the suitcase is like twice as heavy. It's like, I don't feel like doing this. And I heard in my head, I didn't ask you for excuses. I asked you what the truth is. And the truth is, you don't need no damn excuses. <laughs> exactly what came to mind. And I got up and I did my squat routine. Uh, five sets of 50. Usually it's five sets of 90 at this point, but like I said, it's twice as heavy. So I just cut it down to 50, struggled through that. The first set was a, gr a drag. But by the time I finished my fifth set, I felt strong enough to do a sixth set, even though I didn't. So it's like, this is the mentality from here on out. I didn't ask you for excuses. I asked you what the truth is. And the truth is, you don't need any excuses. You get up and you do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? If you got God in your life, then he's the only excuse you need. Do what you got to do. So I'm keeping that with me for the rest of my life, man. I sent that to my homegirl, Karen. She really appreciated that as well. And uh, you know what I mean? That's what it's about. It's really about overcoming the mind. Because otherwise the mind is gonna coerce you into what comes with not doing what it is you're supposed to do you know and the mind is a reflection of your effort at the end of the day and the, and the effort is a reflection of what your mind is just the same it reflects itself so if you call if you coincide with your mind when you have days like this and you don't want to do the work from there your mind will allow your body to start becoming what it is it wants to be which is lazy and that's what my body was when I was a young person. I never worked out, never ex exercised, and as a result, I was unhealthy and unhappy. And unhappy with being unhealthy. You see what I'm saying? It's like, nah. If that's where you're trying to go, then have at it. But you're not dragging me along with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling myself. Like, you can think that way all you want, but I have a different consciousness, and that consciousness is intent on doing the work. I'm getting older and I want to continue to win these battles against bad foods and against aging and most importantly against the laziness and laziness of the mind. So it can think all it wants to think but God did not ask me for, his, for excuses. He asked me for what the truth is and the truth is with God I don't need any excuses. <laughs> Straight up. I got him. Why do I need to make excuses for? And so that's what I'm telling all of you guys. You put that in your heart, man. You give God the glory and you remember, you know what the truth is. You know what the truth is. Truth is you don't need no excuse. Straight up. And so that's what I, I give all to you guys when it comes to doing the work. Do the work. Because your mind going to have you being lazy and your, that laziness is going to reflect in your performance. And whatever it is you're doing. It's the same thing I say to my team, the Lakers. Y'all don't practice enough. And then you go out there and you don't look as good. Stop giving yourself excuses for not doing work. See, the work is a means of training yourself for the conditioning necessary to be your best. Not it pushing you against uh, what otherwise is best for you. Which is maybe in your mind relaxing or being comfortable or just not doing as much wear and tear on the body the wear and tear is not wear and tear at all if you're conditioning yourself properly it's further conditioning which should ultimately better your performance so that's what i always say to my team and i woke up this morning with that demon in my heart telling me nah we can relax since we're in a, we're in no hole right now and the suitcase is heavier and we don't have a lot of time and you didn't get a lot of sleep like, all oh, that's excuses, bro. I don't care about none of that. Ain't none of that gonna make me stronger. <laughs> Which is the goal for me doing these squats every day. <laughs> so it's like, am I gonna listen to you which is trying to make me weaker against my goal? No. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to that voice inside of me that, that the Holy Spirit put there. That's gonna ultimately course me into reflecting the way I'm supposed to reflect. Which is stronger. You know what I mean? And more disciplined. So that's what I'm here to tell all y'all, man. That discipline, it starts with a deeper desire than what your mind and your laziness is going to provide. Your laziness is always going to tell you to relax. It's going to tell you to relax all the way to the grave. 
and there'll be time for that. But this ain't that though. The truth is, you don't need no damn excuses. So that's what I want to share with everybody, man. It's a good morning. I ended up eating the rest of that oatmeal, all the oatmeal that was left. So I got to buy some more today as well. And that's another reason why I wanted to, excuse me, overcome that mind. Because the reality is, I got too much to do today. <laughs> I have way too much to do today. I got to do the shopping. I got to do the laundry. I got to get into this room. No telling what time I'm getting to the room. I couldn't start my day going against my conditioning. <laughs> this is the wrong day to go against your conditioning. And that's what I was telling myself. So, yeah, man. I think we're here. I think that's actually it. Across the street. I think that's it. So, it's telling me to cross the street. And I shall do that. And uh, go in there and see where the ATM is. Grab what I need to grab with stronger legs. Because at the end of the day, I don't need any excuses, man. I know what the truth is. So I didn't have to go to the 7-Eleven that I normally go to out of sheer laziness of the mind. Yeah, they cheated me, but what's the, what's the chance they cheat me twice? I ain't gonna find out. <laughs> you feel me? Ain't no sense in doing things the wrong way. You do things the right way. You don't find out what went wrong after you've already seen it go wrong? They need to reprove to you that they some cheaters over there? Nah, they ain't got to reprove crap. I know that you cheat. And so, I don't frequent you anymore. I go to where the cops at and find myself an ATM that's less likely to be compromised in that way. And then get back and handle everything even in a better way. <laughs> a more efficient way. And so that's what I'm here to tell all of you guys, man. Do things efficiently. Don't give yourself excuses. Don't listen to that voice in your head that's telling you to relax. It's telling me to turn right. Yeah, this is left. That's the police station. Anyway. I'll follow what it's telling me. This seems like the right place, though. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll stop my video here and find out where this thing is actually taking me. But don't listen to them excuses, man. You don't need none of them excuses. All you need is the truth, and the truth is you don't need them. DDL44, I thank you all for watching. I'm out.